What is up guys, Blim here and welcome to the set analysis of Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. So in this series we are gonna be going over all the new Pokemon which has been released in Scarlet and Violet and every single day we are gonna be taking a Pokemon and we are gonna be discussing all the potential viable sets which we can use to get the maximum potential out of Pokemon competitively and we are gonna be focusing on competitive singles not doubles. So today, the first day, we are gonna be focusing on a mon which is most likely gonna get banned. This mon is under the radar for getting banned and yeah, so let's begin with Annihilate. So firstly, this mon has an amazing typing. This mon shares its typing with a pseudo legendary, Mars Shadow, which if you don't know, if you haven't played like early Sword and Shield OU, Mars Shadow was firstly allowed in Sword and Shield OU, then it got banned, quick banned in just 4 days because it was absolutely broken. And now coming in Scarlet and Violet, we got the second ghost fight Pokemon which is Annihilate. The first, let's have a look at this monsters and let's have a look at the first set. So this first set takes advantage of this mons. Every stat of this mon is very good. It takes advantage of this mons. HP and speed. So this mon has got one of the most highest HP in the whole game. Base 110 HP, yeah, you know, like it's very very high HP stat. Only a few mons have an HP stat above 100 and this mon has like way above that. And why I say HP stat? Because this mon gets a very very rare move which only a few mon gets. So that move is called Final Gambit. Now what does this move do? This move is a suicide move. So if you click this move, you are gonna die and the opposing Pokemon in who is in front of you, they are gonna die as well. And how much damage it will do? It will do damage equal to the amount of HP you currently have on that turn. For example, turn 1, you send out Prime, you send out Annihilate and you have 424 HP. You go for the move, this final gambit, you are gonna faint and then the opposing Pokemon, they will lose 5, 424 HP from them. Basically, it's a, it's a guaranteed kill because only a handful of Pokemon has an HP stat over 110, being Tondanzo and Blissey and stuff. And so you are going to be destroying 97% of the Pokemon in the entire Scarlet and Violet OU tier. And you should always have a choice cup with this set because you don't want to take damage and then go for the final gambit. So we have max speed choice cup and max HP because we want to get those quick quick final gambits and also uh, like a big condition of this set is that you should always use it on hyper offense teams else this set is not gonna put in much work so hyper offense teams they, most, they mostly run on like quick kills quick progress because they can't withstand longer game durations because they don't have walls and course to take hits so yeah this set is exclusively for hyper offense teams only if you follow my channel i have already showcased this set two times in two different lives and it was an absolute like yeah absolute beast this set so yeah, we have this choice cap, max HP and max speed. You should always go Jolly Nature on this and then the remaining three moves like U-turn, Close Combat and Shadow Claw, these are like filler moves because 99% of the time you're not going to be clicking these three moves. But still you can Close Combat, I have clicked Close, close, close Combat myself a few times because like people think that they have the Chiyu on front, they have the Chiyu or the Chain Power, they will have that and they think that they can outspeed us and potentially kill us off with the Specs Overheat or a Specs uh, or a Choice Bandit Crunch. But to our surprise, like yeah, Close Combat is a guaranteed Oko. Regardless of any attack investment, Close Combat is a guaranteed Oko 1, Chiyu and Chain Pao. So yeah, and then why do we have U-Turn? Because in case opponent have a lot of Ghost, so Final Gambit doesn't work on Ghost types. So you, yeah, if you have like a doubt whether to click it or not and the turn will fail, you will not die but you, I'm basically it will be a wasted turn for you. So yeah, you will lock into a failed final gambit. So yeah, it's better to U-turn in, in those scenarios and you bring out a different mode which can check or deal with the ghosts. And Shadow Claw, this is absolutely a filler move. You can do anything. You can even leave this slot empty if you want. But Shadow Claw, it's a stab move. So yeah, that's why I have it. Stab move in case you want to like chip down because Goldengo is co Goldengo completely was this set. At least Shadow Claw, you will do some damage to Goldengo and stuff. So this is why you have Shadow Claw. So this is the first set, Hyper Offense, Final Gambit, and I left set. Now let's move on to the second set. And this set is the most common set which everyone is using. And this is the set which why for why this one is under the radar for getting banned. This is the set. So once again, this set takes advantage of this one's incredibly high HP stat and very very high 
speed of stat so you are always going to be running max hp and max special defense this is why you do not die to even a super effective special move this set doesn't even die to a choice picks iron valiant's moon blast yeah this one is so bulky in the special side and then the move pool is always should be bulk up taunt rage fist and drain punch so firstly this one has a very broken ability called defiant whenever let's say opponent goes to an intimidate mon instead of getting minus one you will get a plus one in attack whenever you not just intimidate any stat opponent drops you will get a plus one attack boost so opponent will most likely try not to defer on you they will yeah if the if something goes with the moon blast and they get the special attack drop instead you are going to be getting a plus one attack boost so extremely dangerous ability now this move this move is the mo one of the most after like last respects this is the most broken ghost move of all time this move is even better than poltergeist why initially as you can see this move is 50 base power but whenever prime m takes any sort of damage any sort regardless of the base power regardless of the type regardless of the nature of the attack it this rage fist it gets boosted by 50 not 10 not 20 or 30 it gets boosted by 50 stored power gets boosted by 20 this shit gets boosted by 50 yes 50 yes so let's say that something is setting up alongside you you are going for the bulk up they are going for the they're going for the bulk up right so in general it should be like you do 10% they do 10% it's gonna be a chip chip war but not with this one not only are you getting a boost in your attack defense but also if they hit you you're gonna be getting a boost in your signature stab move so this set is extremely dangerous i know like yeah if you have used or faced this set you know how dangerous this set is like you have got so like maybe 100 million times with this set i personally have got infinite number of times swept by this set and this set is like the reason why this one is under radar and this set can be paired with any team any kind of playstyle you can use this set with hyper offense you can use this set with balance you can even and i have seen people use this set install because this is very very good install it doesn't die to any hit and it keeps poking up and beating the opponent down stall is a very good pairing for this set as well and pawn should always be there Count is to shut down opposing unaware mons like Claude Sire, like Quack Sire, which can either toxic and then unaware stall you. Even the Garganachi, yeah, the Garganakal, they they might they might iron defense and kind of wall you with salt cure, do chip damage. So this is why you want to run taunt so that they can't iron defense and they can like toxic all that stuff. And since you have a very high base speed without any investment, you outspeed those mons and you just shut them down completely. So yeah, this is the most dangerous prime set. The next bit of bulky set. And after after a bulk up you don't die to any special hit or any physical hit unless it's a reckless star raptors brave bird you shouldn't die to any hit okay let's have a look at the next set this set is exactly the similar set just this set has a bit of more speed why this 96 speed because you want to be faster than the adam and Brelooms. everything is the same just you are faster than adam, adam and Brelooms and all the some a few other mods and opposing bulky prime which is trying to speed creep you so yeah you're faster than those and you kind of kill them shut them shut them down shut down a breloom by taunting on the spore bulk up on their face so that bullet seed doesn't oko you yeah choice minute bullet seed okos this set if you if they get five hits you're gonna get oko so be kind of careful versus that this is why you can bulk up faster and you can like drain punch into obliteration them so yeah this set is the same set just a bit more speed now always yeah one more thing i forgot to say that the terror type should be water you can run water i've seen people run flying so water flying is a very very good terror typing for this one but mostly people run water yeah so you can also run fairy but i think that water is better because like I've seen like uh, what is called chain power, chain power tries to icicle flinch, icicle crash flinch this one down. Yeah, so it's better to run water and like, take the hit off. But flying is also really good. You can try flying as well because I've seen Don Fen try to like out muscle this one and yeah, so flying is a really good option as well. Yeah, same thing for this and now let's move on to the next set. The next set is an offensive set. So this set is like max, max speed and max attack with jolly nature. So this set beats all the opposing, all the opposing annihilates and a lot of like bulky bulky fat fat mons. This set easily beats them. So is the move pool is exactly the same, just a small difference. This set generally tries to generally actually run rest over taunt because this set doesn't mind status because it's it's gonna be faster than most of the status mons. And yeah, you can take status, you can bulk up on the face, and then the thing that they are they let's say that they will always be the burn news like versus the the dog versus the ghost dog. Uh, what is the ghost dog's name? 
a ghost dog a skeletor a skeletor a skeletor a mind go for the go for the thought song and they go for the they might will always spew then go for the thought song and stuff so you you take thought song for days you take two three thought song you will take you will rest of the will of spend then one slap in the face one fist in the face yeah three times they hit you your fist is boosted to 150 slap them in the face and they're going to get overwhelmed by the fist so yeah this said likes to run the chest or rest or set but also you can go like a taunt on this taunt with leftovers as well it won't be much of a difference but i feel that the taunt set is better on the bulky types and the chest or rest is better on the offensive offensive variants and then we have the last set now this set is a hidden set this set is exclusively used for tournaments this set no one has these evs as you can see the evs are very complicated i will give a quick rundown of the evs like what this one or what this set does but yeah this set is a hidden set only few players used it in top level tournaments in the early uh, scarlet violet tournaments which are going on and as you can tell by the ev so let me explain what this evs does now so with this hp and this defense first let's go with the special defense with this hp and with this special defense and this 4d attack so this is the most important calc so we have this uh, set already here so chiu yeah because mostly chiu try to like out muscle you with your stuff let's make this like overheat ability is beads of ruin so my special attack an item let's make is like choice spec so choice specs beads of ruin boosted max special attack 130 special attack overheat let's make this overheat overheat from chiu overheat from chiu it never occurs you it never occurs you so this is the most important part this 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 calculation is wrong by the way you will not take 81% this is the not not the max roll because I think this calc ignores the beads of ruin. So with beads of ruin, you don't get like oh god. Even with the beads of ruin, you take maximum like ninety one to ninety two percent damage. Over it never fails to kill you with the CVs. And then drain punch with the forty attack. It's a very very high percent chance to oko back. A very high percent chance to oko chi you back. So if you get a U turn on chi you with a core and stuff, so this set will always leave the specs over it and you just oko them back with the drain punch. So this is the most important calc. Now let me show you some other calls as well. Chien Pao. Chien Pao. Let's make this like adamant item is choice band. Choice band ability is sort of sort of ruined. Right? Adamant choice band sort of ruined. Two fifty two attack and then let's go for a stronger move. Icicle crash, not crunch. Icicle crash. So icicle crash to be to adamant choice bandit sword of ruin. See, with this HP and defense, it's almost it. It's it never occurs. It never occurs, and it does max to max like with the sword of ruin boost, max to max like seventy five to eighty percent damage they will do. And then drain punch is always for a sweet guaranteed oko on chain pow. And then one more calc I want to show. So iron valiant. Iron Valiant custom set. Let's make this like. Let's ignore the item. Let's make this like Moon Blast, and I've seen people run Modest, the Modest Moon Blast. Modest Moon Blast from an Iron Valiant. See, it never occurs. You Modest Moon Blast from an Iron Valiant. Stab Moon Blast. It's a guaranteed to it kill. Guaranteed to it kill. So yeah, these are the most important cards, especially the Chiu Calc. So this set lives everything, and with the 221 speed, you outspeed the opposing speed creeping. and i lips and you just boost on them and you just destroy them so yeah this is the tournament set which i wanted to share so yeah this are the this are the like five potential sets of anhelip each has their own usage and then i have a corv as well why corv because every set needs a partner and rocky helmet corv is the perfect partner to anhelip why because this one anhelip it's kind of kind of checked by brave but corv then the crunches from crunches from chien pao all this sort of stuff can be a bit annoying so this is why we have rocky helmet corv to chip them down so whenever corv goes for the brave bird or goes for the u turn you bring a corv in get that chip whenever chien pao uh, chien pao goes for the crunch you bring the corv in you get the chip damage you u turn out and you and then it helps and helps so much you know yeah so this is why corv is an amazing partner it also kind of checks uh, ape's weakness because corv this fizzed up corv it can switch in on reloom so we'll be running the plus defense nature always 
this mount comes in on the bri looms and you can like u turn you can on the i mean you can take a mark punch for days this might be also a sport fodder if you want and yeah so this is why corb is an amazing partner for annihilate so yeah this is the analysis of annihilate and later in the day today i have a showdown live which is going to be focusing on one of the sets or, or maybe all the sets of annihilate depending on how i build so yeah this should be it for today guys hope you guys enjoyed the analysis the set link will be in the description and i will catch all of you guys later in the day with the showdown live so yeah peace guys